Today, I'm gonna take you through the process of making this logo animation. So here's how it came to be. Okay, so this was the logo that was sent to me by the client, and these are the storyboards that I came up with. I'm going to explain this in a more visual way. Imagine the cup enters the frame, the straw comes from the top down, punctures the lid, spins around with some lightning on it, and then boba balls shoot out of the straw like a gun, and then it returns to center. Okay, time to pop into Blender. Let's start by creating the backdrop, add a plane, extrude one side of the plane, bevel in between to create that seamless looking backdrop, shade it smooth, and then add a camera and just kind of pull it back a little bit. Make sure that it's kind of head on with the backdrop. And then to model the cup, I just added a circle, filled it in, and then I extruded up to kind of get the cylinder shape. And then I went ahead and extruded the top for the lid. And then I added two loop cuts on the bottom and the top to kind of get that pin shape. And then I basically just created another cylinder and placed it inside. And that's kind of going to be our liquid container. Add some aerial lights. I just went for a three point lighting setup, backlight, rim light, and fill. Okay, moving on to texturing. I'm going for a cell shaded cartoon look. I found this tutorial on YouTube. I thought it looked pretty cool. So I just added this same kind of tune shader on everything. You can go ahead and pause the video now to see the node setup if you want to copy it. Did the same for the lid. So for the bobo balls, it's the same thing. Went ahead and made a bunch of those and put them at the bottom of the cup. Let's go ahead and slap on the camera sticker to the cup with a shrink wrap modifier. Okay, let's animate now. We're gonna have the cup fly into the scene. The straw is gonna come into frame, puncture the cup. It's gonna spin around a few times. And then we're gonna animate some lightning kinda coming out from the back to give it this effect of something that's being cooked up in the cup. You can go ahead and pause here for the lightning shader node. Let's go ahead and turn the boba drink into a machine gun. I used a particle system with the instance set to the boba balls collection. You can copy my settings here. And then to add some recoil to the shooting animation, I went to the graph editor and added a noise modifier to a few of the axes. And then import images as planes to add the logo text and then animate it flying in. And then I added some dark outlines to the straw and the cup. I used an add-on called Outline Helper. It allows you to add strokes in real time and you can easily adjust the thickness of the outline without having to render each frame. Here are my render settings. I used Eevee for this one. You can also go ahead and turn on motion blur if you'd like. I like to add it in post. And lastly, I rendered in 4K widescreen as well as HD. The client also wanted a vertical format. So I went ahead and made a separate render for that. Here is the breakdown. And then to spice everything up, I added some color to bring the animation to life and make the colors pop a little bit. And then the final step was adding sound design. There were a lot of practical effects like the electricity and the straw puncturing the lid. But of course, as always, I gotta add a bunch of bushes. All right, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and comment down below for any future tutorials or videos you want me to make. Otherwise, um, I'll see you guys next week. Peace. All right, that boy is back.